with the uh, amount of lineups, uh, different rotations that went through, does that, how does that how does that affect you as a point guard when you're playing with different guys, seeing different lineups, things like that? Uh, nothing really. Uh, I think due to the us all getting here early to play pickup, uh, me having relationships with these guys, I kind of know where guys like the ball, um, you know, spots like that. I think there's still some miscommunications on our cuts, our spacings, um, been really bad for us these, uh, through these, these first two games, but it's all just a, you know, a process. It'll, you know, it'll come together. Um, you know, but you know, I, I don't think our problem is offensively. Our problem is defensively and getting stops. Like, we told you guys yesterday, 36 is too much in the first quarter, and they got 36 again. Or two days ago, we told you 36 is too much, they got 36 again. Um, like, I've, like I've said since, you know, when we started talking this year, our problem will not be offensively. We have enough guys that will score the ball. Uh, I played terrible today. Uh, we had a lot of guys that didn't shoot the ball the way they want to, and we still scored 134 points. You score 134 points, you should win an NBA game. So um, our problems defensively, uh, they had over 30 in every quarter. That's not serious. I know if it was, you know, if you knew, obviously, you'd fix it as soon as you could. But what do you feel like is specifically going wrong on the defensive end for you guys? Um, uh, you know, what it is is it's on our first unit. And we talked about this in the back. I mean, you can look at plus minus. You can look at whatever stats you want. I mean, you just out there and you watch the game, you understand our first unit has been awful. You know, we got to start quarters the right way and finish quarters the right way. And we haven't started quarters the right way through the first two games and even into the preseason. Our start, our starts have been bad. And that's on us as first unit and that's on me, um, you know, as a leader. So um, I got to be better. We got to be better starting games. And it's more just a presence thing of, you know, getting into the ball. And that starts with me because I'm guarding the ball most of the time, you know, finishing uh, possessions, rebounding. Um, you know, we can't predicate our game on makes and misses. Like, I don't know what I was through the first 30 minutes of that game, but it wasn't pretty. So, and I would let that affect me and that's on me. So, you know, for us as a unit, our first unit has to start better. We know what TJ, Andrew, uh, Aaron, those guys, Isaiah, Ben, we know what they're going to bring for us defensively. It's on our first unit and that's just the bottom line. So we're going to, we got to be better and we're going to be better. I know you're often your own biggest critic, but you just said you played terrible. Why do you feel like you played terrible given that you had an good statistical night uh it's not about this it's not about anything on this paper it's about who being myself and being who i am and um you know i was letting my makes and misses kind of predicate my attitude predicate my effort to a sense and uh that's not acceptable uh i'll go watch film later and i'll be mad at myself kick myself a few times uh just i gotta be better as a leader when i'm missing shots uh just you know keeping everybody up because these guys do a great job keeping me up so that's my job to keep those guys up so um you know like numbers are whatever that doesn't matter to me uh it's about pro approaching the game the right way and uh you know i just haven't done that what are some of the contributing factors to defensively because it seems like it's a variety of different things right now uh you know i would say the number one is effort it's i think in basketball like you got to control what you can and that's like effort and energy um and and your attitude you know how you react to things and we're not doing that um you know i, I think uh, it's the nba like the best coaches in the world best players in the world like principles they're going to give it to everybody everybody has similar principles they got coverages, we got game plans, whatever. Throw that out the window. It has nothing to do with that. We got to play harder. Uh, you guys see to finish the last two games how hard we're playing in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, and obviously we're not going to press the whole game. We can't play that way the whole game. But it's more about a presence thing of being felt and getting into the ball. Um, and we just got to, you know, we got to be better there. And, and I think it's just controlling what you can. It's like we can't control how they're, shoot, how they're shooting. Uh, we can't control... Um, Referee, we can't control all these different things, right? We got to control what we can, and we're letting these guys. They started the game. I don't know. It felt like every shot they shot was in the paint. And I, no matter who you're playing, if I see layups go in, I got confidence to make whatever shot I throw up. So uh, we got to be better starting games.